Hey everybody, it's Ruan here from Tunnel Vision and today I'm going to give you guys a quick video tutorial on how to shoot a music video and also how to edit it using Final Cut Pro 7 and calibrating it with Magic Bullet looks. First of all, when you shoot your music video, try and get as many angles as possible for every scene you do. I usually try and get about six different angles for every scene. Then I know in the final edit I'll have some, some stuff I can actually work with. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to convert your footage from the Canon 5D into a format that you can use within Final Cut. So you need a little program called MPEG Stream Clip. I'll put a link in the description where you can actually download it. It's free. And once you're in this program, go to List and go to Batch List. And what you do is you just drag the files that you want to convert. So just drag them in here. And it's going to pop up and it's going to ask you what you want to do. Just click export to QuickTime, click OK. And you need to select the destination folder. So I've just created a, a folder on my desktop. Click select. And for compression, we're going to use Apple ProRes, which is very good for editing. So I'm just going to use the normal 422. And you're going to up the quality to 100. And I'm going to leave it at full HD. And I'm going to deselect interlaced scaling and then you click to batch. Okay, once it's in the list, you can just click on go and it will start the conversion process. So I'll just pause the video and I'll see you guys right away. Okay, so once you've converted your footage, you can open your editor. I'm using Final Cut Pro 7 and import the clips that you've just converted to ProRes. And what I'm gonna show you guys here is a very simple way of how to, how to actually edit your music video now. You can sync your audio um, of the, 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 the camera footage or the raw footage to the actual audio track that you're gonna use with the video. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to select the audio file. This is the audio file that I'm gonna use. I'll just play a little section for you guys. Okay, so what I've done here, I've selected a um, just a mark in this song. So I've actually selected the piece where the vocal comes in, if you hear this part here. So I've selected that part where the vocal comes in and I've created a marker, as you can see there. And what you can do then, you can just drag your, this is your original soundtrack which the music video will have in the end. So I'll just drag that into the timeline. And you can see it should have a marker somewhere. There we go. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm only going to use three clips. But as I mentioned before, try and get at least six angles for every scene that you do in the music video. So first of all, let's drag in this one. And as you can see, I've done the same with this. Um, I've actually marked the spot where the vocal comes in. So if you play this back, can see I just um, I looked for that little spot where the vocal comes in and I marked it same with this clip and as you can see I'm just using the normal uh, in-camera audio which is not that great but you can actually use it to sync up your audio so it's it works fine and this is the last clip let me just show you guys Okay, I'm gonna drag the video into my timeline and you just need to snap these markers. There we go. And then you can actually remove the camera audio track, like so. So if we play this back. So you can see it actually syncs with the, the original high quality music track that you're gonna use for your video. So as you can see, it's syncing quite nicely for that one track. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the second track. I'm just going to drag it in and snap the markers. And I'm going to remove the audio track. As you can see, I just moved the original track one up. So if I add it there, it will actually put the camera audio below that. So let's look at this one. Okay, as you can see, it's also synced. So for the last one, we do the same, drag it in and we snap the markers. OK, 
Okay, mark is snapped and we delete the camera audio. So let's play this back. Okay, so that's also synced. So the next step, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do my edit for the music video, which is very basic. And it's not the only way to do it, but that's just some way I found that's working really easy for me. So let's have a look. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the edit from the point where the vocal comes in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim the beginning of all these three tracks. So it just snaps to that one location. This is just to get a starting point for the video or for that scene. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just drag all the, all the angles away, like so. All right, so let's say this is the start of the song. Uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just drag the song to that location. And what we can do, we can drag everything to the front. So what I usually do is I just drag one of these to the front and I'll play it back. And I'll look for the best shot in all these clips. So sometimes you'll have more than three, usually say about five or six, but for this tutorial, only three. So let's drag that back, take that to the front and drag the next one. And let's look at that. Okay, and let's look at the last one. Okay, so I'm going to decide I'm going to start with this clip. This looks like the best one for me. So let's take it back and I'm going to play it only a couple of seconds and then I'm going to stop it. Let's say till there. And what I do, I just press B for the blade and I'll cut it. Select again, drag it back. Okay, so we've made our first cut. Um, now what you need to do is you just need to look for another good shot that you can carry on with. So let's look at this one. Okay, and I'm quickly going to look at this one. Yeah, you can just use your up and down arrows to jump to the previous cut or the next cut. Okay, so I'm going to go with the top one. So what I'll do, I'll just drag it to there, press up, and play a bit of that. Okay, let's take it to there, press B, cut, press A, select, drag it back. Let's see if we can use this one next. Okay, do that again, cut. And that's basically how I do it. I just go through all my clips, look for the best shot, Drag it back. Trap with him. Okay, that's not good, so it's not gonna work. Let's go back and let's take the top one. Trap with him, the spider's web. That's all right, let's cut, select, drag it back, next one. Cut, drag it back. And always try not to sync on the beat of the music. Um, try and do offbeat cuts um, and also try to um, try not to make the same length cuts so try a longer cut then a shorter cut uh, then maybe a couple of short cuts and then a longer cut again if that makes sense let's cut select drag it back taking another angle play there and take it back next shot okay. shortcut take it back cut drag it back next one shortcut let's drag it back another cut all right, so I think you guys get the idea. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So let's play it from the start. Okay, 
Right, so as you can see, it's actually starting to look like a music video now. So the next step I'm going to take you guys through is just to add a widescreen effect to it. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys how to do that. All right, so you'll go to your effects in Final Cut Pro and you will go down and then under matte you'll find widescreen. So let's just move the play back to the beginning. And I'm going to drag the widescreen onto that first clip. Double click on the clip, go to filters and you'll see widescreen there. So what I do is I just click the drop down and select 235. You'll see it adds a nice widescreen to it. And then you've got this offset slider which you can actually use to offset your clip if you need to adjust that. So I'm gonna adjust it around there. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna right click on that clip, copy, select all my other clips, right click, paste attributes, and select filters. That's just to paste that widescreen mat onto all of my other clips. Let's go to the next one. Double click on it. Change your offset. Next one. And you just have to run through quickly and do this to all the clips you have. Okay, I think you guys get the idea. And once you're done with this, let's play it from the start. It's running down my face as I stumble to my feet again Trapped within the spider's way of a stranger than fiction Right, so as you can see, the widescreen just adds a very nice effect to the video. So next step is color grading. So what I use for my color grading is Magic Bullet and a plugin called Looks. So let's drag that onto the first clip. Double click the clip and you'll see the plugin will appear here. And we click on Edit to go into the application to build our look. So what you can do is there's a whole lot of presets here that you can use. Some of them are actually quite nice. Some of them are not so nice. All right, I'm going to go with a preset called Black and White Crunch. So usually I'll go in here and I'll add some, some of these effects, um, maybe some contrast and play with the colors, etc. And then once you're happy with your look, just click on OK. And it will apply that look to that one clip. So what you can do now is copy that. So just click that looks and command C to copy. Double click your next clip, paste it there. Next one, paste it. Obviously you can do the same where you right click the first clip and go copy attributes. But we don't want to really copy the widescreen um, effect again. So for the tutorial, I'm just doing it like this. There we go. As you can see, we need to render this. So I'll come back in a second. Just need to render this quickly. All right, so the render is complete. Let's have a quick look at the video. It's running down my face as I stumble to my feet again. Trapped within the spider's way of a stranger than fiction. Right, not too bad, I think. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can export your video and um, encode it in a way that you can actually upload it to YouTube and etc. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export, QuickTime Movie. Go to your destination where you want to save it. Just give it a name. And just leave it on current settings. And you can you don't even have to tick um, self-contained because you can uh, compress that uh, MOV file that you export from here. So let's click Save. Right, once it's exported, we're going to go back to MPEG Stream Clip. Just open up that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag the file that I exported from Final Cut into this window. And you'll see you'll have your music video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to File and then Export as QuickTime. And for this one, we're going to use H.264, which is a nice codec if you want to upload it to 
uh, YouTube or if you want to share it or put it on a DVD or etc. So I'm going to change the quality to 100. I'm going to leave it at full HD, untick interlaced scaling, and I'm going to limit the data rate to 6,000 kilobits per second. So it's going to give me an estimate uh, size here as well, which is quite nice. And I'm going to click on make movie. And I'm going to give it a destination. Let's just call it music video YouTube and click save. And that's going to start your conversion process. And as you can see, this little window here can actually preview what the quality will look like of your encoded video. So you can quickly tell if the encoding is actually working for you or not. So you can then go back and change uh, some settings. Okay, so the music video is exported. So let's have a quick look and see how it looks like. Tears running down my face as I stumble to my feet again. Trapped within the spider's web, it's stranger than fiction. There you go. Uh, so now I've got your music video file and it's encoded into a codec that you can actually use for YouTube and you're ready to upload your music video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and I hope that the tips will actually give you some information when you guys shooting your next music video. Always remember to shoot as much angles as possible for every scene. And when you're doing your color grading, just try to be creative and try some different things and try to be original. Um, so if you guys like this, please subscribe and you can also follow me on Twitter. Yeah, cheers.